investigators in Lancaster are going door to door this morning trying to learn who's responsible for a horrible case of animal cruelty. And a dog that was lighted on fire is recovering this hour in a shelter after a good Samaritan saves its life. CBS 2's Melissa McCarty is live in Lancaster with this hour's newest details. Melissa? Ken, the dog is recovering here at Animal Control in Lancaster, but its fight isn't over yet. If no one claims it, his stay here, unfortunately, has a timeline. I'll never forget the cry, needless to say. And I'm screaming, a little dog screaming. Monday night, Ann Brooks and her stepson Ed heard relentless barking dogs. One was squealing and whimpering. I came out here and saw what looked like for a second fire. They ran next door to this vacant house up for sale to find in a ball of fire this pit bull mix about six months old. Blaze. Then he moved over into the, the carport and started screaming bloody murder. Even more heart-wrenching, the markings on this wall. Trying to, to um, um, get its, the fire out by pushing itself against the wall. Acting quick, and stripped the shirt off her back to pat down the flame. She then poured water over his body to cool him off. Last night, she was devastated by the despicable act. He was a beautiful person, that's Why would someone do that? His paws were bleeding, body partially charred with raw flesh burns on his leg, ears, and stomach. That there are some sick individuals out there that need to go to jail. Glenn lives across the street. He says there's kids in this neighborhood who have tried to harm his dog. I have a 150-pound Rottweiler I can't even leave in my backyard with the people throwing rocks over my fence. Neighbors say whoever is terrorizing the animals in this neighborhood needs to be caught now. Arson and explosive experts are taking over the case. As for the stay here, typically animals have three to five days before they are euthanized. <laughs> in Lancaster, that's sick. CBS 2 News.